Oh, when, uh, when I was a teenager, um, I would go running, um, sometime twice a day. Um, I would, I would find this hill. It was called Bee Hill in Boulder City. And there was this dirt bike trail. And you go up the dirt bike trail. And it was steep at first. You'd first have to run to the hill, right? And then you go and it's steep. And then it tapered. And then you got to the top of this hill. And sometimes I'd do it like twice a day. And I got to running distances. And I got pretty good at it. So my dad really pushed me to get across country. And I was all division. And, you know, I, I did well at it. Um, but my, my dad, you know, saw... Um, saw me running and saw me good at it, and then he really pushed me to, to go into that sport. What he didn't know, um, and I never told him, is that every time I ran that hill, I did it so that I wouldn't commit suicide. Um, so every time he'd see me once or twice a day, I just decided that instead of um, committing suicide, I would go run that hill. And there was there was some psychology behind it because um, I would watch Rocky IV, and there's the like the, the training scene in Rocky IV where he runs up that mountain, and you just hear like, "Hearts on fire, strong desire," and um, and that always made me feel good. And so, um, so like, it was like this, uh, this mental victory to get to the top of a mountain. Um, and it's this little hill, you dread by it, it's just a hill, but to me it was a mountain. And, um, perspective, right? Perspective is, a uh, is an interesting thing my dad had no idea right I was bullied incessantly in middle school I was a reject and uh, told and showed that I was a failure as a kid that is what is at the core of my weight problems even as an adult, as a 43-year-old man. Um, you know, one summer, a kid moved into our city, and I had a friend for a summer. And it was one of the coolest summers I've ever had. And we hung out, and he accepted me, and he was a friend. And then we went to high school, and we had like a class together and then we didn't have class together and then another class together. And by, by the middle of that first day, he came to me and said, Steve, I can't be a friend, man. I, I, I can't, I had no idea that you were this unpopular. Man, and that broke my heart that killed me inside. On the flip side, there were a few people that were utterly fantastic just because they were kind. There was this uh, kid, Philip Wright, who everybody who ever got picked on knew that if they stood next to Philip, that nobody would pick on them because he wouldn't let them. And he was all about love. And he was just a fantastic human being. Um, then there was this girl in my Spanish class, um, Haley Arnaz. And she was just kind to me. She sat behind me. She said hi to me. Um, and she was just kind. Asked me how my day was. And she was just kind. Kindness goes a long way. Perspective goes a long way. And uh, mountaintops. 
You got to make those goals. You got to see those things. You just got to go to those mountaintops. I am, uh, I'm grateful for mountaintops. And I'm grateful for kind people. And I'm not grateful for running. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> not grateful for running.